My name is Ron Dorn, and the purpose of this video is to provide you an overview of the first main Hawaii lab interacting with the data in the Hawaii geovisualization via helicopters. So I'd like to remind you that when you open up a lab and you start the quiz, you can pause and resume the quiz. The idea is for your, if, if you need to stop and ask questions, like sending screenshots of what you're working on, or you just need to take a break and come back to it, you can pause and resume it. The basic idea of the helicopter data tour is to explain to you what science is and have you go through the motions and think about science from the perspective of the data we are going to be analyzing. It. Um, the idea of a science is very simply that we see patterns and the patterns might be something like El Nino, fish dying off around the time of Christmas. And that pattern came up with a whole bunch of different explanations, many of them which were untrue, some of them which were true. And this introduction explains that the idea of science is never to prove something, but actually to disprove an idea to explain a pattern. I like this graphic a lot. Science, if you don't make mistakes, you're doing it wrong. If you don't correct those mistakes, you're really doing it wrong. If you can't accept that you're mistaken, you're not doing it at all. In science, and including in physical geography, we see patterns and we come up with explanation for those patterns. And we try and disprove our explanations because there's no such thing as proof. Proof in a scientist is a bad idea. If you know a scientist who says they have proof, they're not really a scientist. Science is for testing, mathematics is for proof. So the idea of this lab is for you to take helicopter trips over the Jewish visualization and see patterns and try and come up with a good explanation for those patterns. The first question is where you fly up and over the Kohala volcano and look at the connection between the development of river valleys and rainfall. And I'll walk you through this particular one. The second question is where you fly up and over Hawaii volcanoes and look at the idea of patterns that you see on these two different volcanoes, Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa. The third question deals with the dew points or the amount of humidity that you see in Hawaii if different levels of the atmosphere and what's a good explanation for the dew points that are very low up high and very high down low. And then the fourth question has to do with the growth of plants on top of lava flows. It's called succession, where a lava remakes the entire landscape, there's nothing growing, and then trees and other life forms come back over time. And then the last question has to deal with lines that we see in physical geography. They're rare, actually seeing lines are unusual, but these are four different lines that you connect to processes. It sounds daunting, but each of these questions is designed to be actually pretty simple. Um, the idea is for you to go through the action of seeing the patterns. So I'd like to show you the first thing that you're going to do is that you'll fly up and over Kohala via fast travel. You'll go to the Honokani Nui Lookout via fast travel, which is where you're at now in the geovisualization, you can back the camera angle back. You'll need to practice in how to zoom in and zoom out. So when you hit the escape button in the game, you can get controls over the camera angle. Then you go to the fastest airspeed possible and you click the scale speed and you actually fly to the other side of Kohala. And you'll be looking at two different sorts of data, the rainfall data, and the dew point and the Landsat data. Landsat is a simulation of true color. On the side facing the trained winds, facing the east, it's very green and very rainy, and you can see there are very deep river valleys. But on the other side of the island, the west facing side, the age of the volcano is about a million years for the surface on both sides, but you can see there, there's no river valleys. And when you click on the rainfall layer, it's very dry. So the idea is if the question is why are there deep valleys on one side and why there's only that small shallow valley that you see on the dry side, 
uh, is a reasonable hypothesis that it has to do with the amount of rainfall to actually carve and cut the river valleys. That's the essence of the first geovisualization that you'll do. And to show you how simple it is, at least I hope it's simple, I'll jump straight to the question here that you answer. What's the physical geography process most likely for the explanation of the greater development of river valleys on the eastern side of Kohala? And the correct answer is that there is a lot more rainfall on the east facing side of Kohala to get bigger streams and more stream erosion. That's going to be the correctly keyed answer to this question. So you already have it. But I want to talk about another option that exists. Some students like to think out of the box. And this is one of the reasons for the appeal process that we have in the syllabus in the class. So if you decide to present your own out of the box explanation for the pattern that you're seeing in the helicopter, great. Be prepared to send your instructor two paragraphs explaining why you think the evidence supports your hypothesis. You don't get to assert that you think you're right. Assertions won't earn you the point. You have to take screenshots from the geovisualization and explain your thinking with reasoning. And then all you have to do is click this button. I have another idea. My plan is to select this answer, it'll be marked wrong, and I'll send an email appeal to the instructor on the syllabus. That's the idea of this lab, to do helicopter views. So I'm going to go through two more helicopter views on the issue of the differences between Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa, and I'll try and be quiet and let you think. So each of these questions provides background information about the topic, in this case, the different types of volcanic activity on the Big Island. And then you explore the geovisualization via helicopters. And then you select your hypothesis that will be in the choices of the answers. And then you can actually read a journal article about research on this topic. So rather than go through and give you the answers, I'll just give you the quick helicopter tour. One of these helicopter flights is to go up and over the Mauna Kea volcano. So here the instructions are to go on one side and then take a helicopter tour, ideally. So I'm getting the fast travel coordinates from the question. I'm entering them in in fast travel to go to the other side of the island and then clicking on airlift with the high airspeed bar and the scale speed clicked. And the helicopter is gonna go up and over Mauna Kea. So I'm gonna click on and off dew point and land set. The dew point is to show you that the air is very dry up above a certain elevation and very wet below. And the land set layer allows you to see the different types of volcanic features you see on Mauna Kea. What I'd like to highlight again is that it's very dry up high and that there are little reddish cinder cones atop Mauna Kea. And there's also this white material, which are glacial deposits atop Mauna Kea. But in the distance, you can see Mauna Loa. Mauna Loa has big black lava flows streaming down its side. But when you're flying down the Mauna Kea volcano, you don't see big black lava flows. You just see little cinder cones with very dry dew points until suddenly you get to a, a certain elevation in which the dew points pick up. So I'm gonna drop the rabbit by clicking on the space bar and leave you to see the new fresh lava flows in the background on Mauna Loa and then the, uh, the cinder cones on Mauna Kea. So you were given a view of Mauna Kea with two different perspectives. One of them is on the volcanoes. The idea is that Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea are similar heights, but they're very different volcanoes from the perspective of the stage that they're in, in terms of being a shield volcano. And the dew point question, you saw how dry it was up above, has to do with what you're going to learn here in the background information about the trade wind inversion that occurs on the Big Island of Hawaii. I'm hoping that this overview 
shows you that there's a lot of information to learn, but that the question themselves are pretty simple. If you go through and read the information, if you take the helicopter trips, the answer to the question should be pretty clear and pretty obvious. Have fun exploring, have fun doing science. And the important thing is for you to be able to practice science by looking at the patterns and then thinking about a good explanation.